Hello everyone. This is M. Milton Joe. In this video, we are going to discuss about Web of Science publication gets credit and valid for thesis submission. So this video is full and full and awareness video because many researchers are thinking that if they publish their research article in Web of Science, that gets more value and it is valid for thesis submission. They can straight away go for thesis submission. Of course, Web of Science publications are always valid and you can go for thesis submission very easily. But here you have to understand in which database your article is published or indexed. Right? Usually, we will publish our article in a journal which is indexed by Web of Science. Right? So, Web of Science is a common name where there are many databases under the name Web of Science. So, in which database your article is indexed is very very important. So, we have to understand all the Web of Science databases are not recognized for thesis submission. Only few databases from the Web of Science are recognized for thesis submission and that gets more value. So, if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and watch the video full video. Now, let us go to the Web of Science database website and see how many databases are there. So see here, now I am in Web of Science website and here you can find Web of Science platform. So under Web of Science, what are the platform or what are the databases are available? So here you can find one by one. See first one is Web of Science core collection and you can find the next database data citation index and etc etc. See here BIOS previews and here you can find zoological record, inspect and etc. So these are the various databases available under Web of Science. So here which database is more value? So that is Web of Science core collection has more value. So what are the sub databases are available under Web of Science core collection? Now let us see. So just scroll. So here you can find Web of Science core collection. So here what are the databases are available under Web of Science core collection. See here the first one is Science Citation Index Expanded. So this is for science subjects. Next one Social Sciences Citation Index. So this is for social science subjects. And another one Arts and Humanities Citation Index. AHCI. So this is for Arts and Humanities based subjects. So these three databases, especially for journal publication, SCIE, SSCI, AHCI. So all these three databases are very very valuable databases. So if you publish your article in any journal which is indexed by these three databases, your paper has more value and you can go for thesis submission very easily. So then what about this emerging sources of citation index. So this is the starting level of indexing in Web of Science score collection for any journal. Right. So for example, so first a journal will get into this ESCI category. If the journal maintains the quality that will move on to any of these three categories based on the subject. If you publish your research article under the category emerging sources citation index. So you can may raise a question. Can I submit the thesis? No. So most of the universities are not accepting publication in this category. So many universities are accepting publication only in these three categories of Web of Science. For example, now let us check UGC care list for thesis submission in India. So in UGC care list, there is a category called UGC care list group 2. So under group 2, what are the databases are recognized by UGC for thesis submission. So see here Web of Science. As we have seen earlier under Web of Science there are many platforms or indexing databases are available. So what are the databases are recognized by UGC for submission of the thesis or for any academic purposes. So under Web of Science the UGC has recognized only three databases. So what are they? So Arts and Humanities Citation Index Science Citation Index Expanded Social Sciences Citation Index 
so from above science only these three categories are recognized by UGC for thesis submission as well as for any academic credits similarly from Scopus website if you publish your research article indexed by Scopus that also recognized by UGC so what I am trying to say here is the author or the researcher should understand so web of science is a common factor name where there are many databases under web of science platform so all the web of science platforms are not recognized for thesis submission and for getting academic credits so in web of science these three platform especially the web of science core collection that is arts humanities citation index science citation index expanded social sciences citation index if you publish your article in these three category your article gets more value and you can go for thesis submission so you have to think about this before publishing your paper in any other web of science indexing databases thank you very much for watching this video i hope this video is useful to you if you like this video and its content share the video with your friends and colleagues very soon i will meet you in another video with another concept thank you very much for watching